Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about a product called Rawzy. Now, I have no affiliation with the company. They're not paying me to do this video. And if you purchase their application, I will not make a commission on the sale. The reason why I'm talking about it today is I know that some of you have computers with hard drives that are nearly full. And you can't afford to buy a new hard drive and or you can't afford to buy a new computer. Well, this is where Rawzy might be able to help you. Uh, they claim they could take a raw file and make it five times smaller without having those lossy artifact issues or color shifts that you would get if you convert your files to lossy DNG files. You can see right here that they claim to have unmatched image quality, no lossy artifacts, no resolution change, no bit count change, and no color loss. The app is currently available for Macs. It's supposed to be available for PC very soon. In the description below this video, I have a link to this website. You can check it out. Try it out for free if you own a Mac. If you have a PC, you can sign up for their wait list. Now, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to test it out and see how well it works. On my desktop, I have three RAW files of the exact same image. The first one is the Nikon RAW file, the .nef file right out of camera. No editing has been done on it at all. It is 63.9 megabytes in size. Now next to that, what I did was, is I put that in Lightroom and I exported it from Lightroom as a DNG file without any compression. And you could see that the DNG file is 56.3 megabytes in size. Then what I did is I took that same Nikon RAW file and I exported it from Lightroom using lossy compression. And you could see that one is 28 megabytes in size. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this original Nikon RAW file that is 63.9 megabytes in size and we're gonna put it in Rossi let it compress it, see how much smaller it makes it. And then we're going to compare it visually and see what it looks like compared to the other three raw files. So let me close these down. What we're going to do is open up Rossi. And Rossi is, is built, uh, right now at least, where you could use it with Lightroom directly, meaning you could load your Lightroom catalog in here and it will convert every image in your Lightroom catalog and repoint your Lightroom to the new images. What it does, it will not uh, delete any of your original RAW files. It just puts them in a location that you choose. So you could do that if you have uh, Lightroom, or if you don't use Lightroom and you just want to convert a bunch of images, you could do that as well without using a Lightroom catalog at all. And that's what I'm doing today. Actually, you could see right here, this side here, optimize Lightroom catalog folders. You could see locate the .lrcat file. That's a Lightroom catalog file. We're not doing that today optimize individual raw files just drag a bunch of images in here and it will convert all of them at once and i mentioned what we're going to do is we're going to take this original nikon raw file the dot nef file we're going to put that in there and you could do more than one all right i'm just doing one for this demonstration but you could drag a whole folder of images in there let's say you use luminar and you want to convert all those you know that you have in your luminar catalog you could just get all those images and drag them in here so i'm going to uh, do full-size previews all right, so we're going to do full-size previews. Uh, now, if this image or this file I did drag in here is in my Lightroom catalog, I could tell it where my Lightroom catalog is, and then it will repoint the Lightroom catalog to the new file. Now, this isn't in my Lightroom catalog. At least I don't want Lightroom to point to this conversion, so I'm not going to click there. I'm going to save the compressed file to the desktop, and then the original file, remember I said it doesn't delete or modify your original files in any way. Uh, you just, it puts them in a folder. So I'm gonna put that folder on my desktop. All right, so let's do it. Let's click start. Now, since I have a DNG file on here with the same name, um, it's prompting me, this file already exists. So let's rename it. All right, so it's just gonna give it a dash one, let it do its thing. And then when it's done, there it's done see all done wow i saved 39 megabytes all right let's see what we got here this is the right here let me rename this all right i'm just going to call this raw rossi because that's the rossi DNG, dng this is the dng that um i converted in lightroom to a dng without compression this is the dng that has lossy compression from lightroom then I mentioned it puts them in a folder. See, I called it users. Let's go in here. It's an Anthony. It's in my desktop. There it is. All right. There's the original raw file. All right. So 
what we have is all three of these. Let's just take a quick gander at them. All right, the original WAV file, as we mentioned before, is 63.9 megabytes. The Rossi DNG is 23.1. The smallest lossy compressed file is 28 megabytes. So it did save me almost five total megabytes from just exporting it from Lightroom as a lossy compressed um, DNG file. So it, it did even make that smaller. So let's see if we see any visual issues. All right, so I'm going to take all of these. I'm just going to open them up into Photoshop because Photoshop's right there on my desktop. And it will open them up in Camera Raw. And then I could click through them and we could just compare them from there. And I mentioned this is just an unedited raw file. It happens to be of one of my cats. All right, so it's opened them up. Let's see what is what here. Uh, this uh, first one is the lossy compressed DNG. That's from Lightroom. This one is the DNG that has no lossy compression. The one next to it is the Nikon RAW file. And then this one is the ROSI file. What I want to do is I'll leave that ROSI file less. Let's, can I, I can't reorder these down in here. So this is the original RAW file uh, right here. So let's kind of zoom in on Rocky's face. Okay, there's the original RAW file. Here is the uh, just the straight DNG. It's going to be hard to compare these. I'm sorry because I can't stay zoomed in. And then here is the lossy compressed raw file. Let's just click on his nose. Lossy compressed raw file. Then we'll go to the, this is the smallest one next to the Rousey one, right? This one was 28.1 megabytes, I think. This one is the Rousey one. And I mean, I can't see any difference, but there's the three, all right? So we kept that one zoomed in. And let's zoom out. Let's try this. Let me click right there on him. We'll go over here and click right there on him. And then go over here and click out again and click there on him. And go over here and we'll click there on him. Let's see if we could do this now. Okay, it's a little better. This first one is the lossy compressed DNG. So this is the one I exported out of Lightroom with lossy compression. The one next to it is the same image, but it was exported from Lightroom without lossy compression. This one right next to it is, again, the same image. It's the original raw file, no compression, no nothing, just the .NEF file. And here's the Rossi image right here. They're all the same exact resolution, just the zooming is all kind of screwed up there and there. So let me try again. There's, see if we can do that, that, and the original raw file and the Rossi file right there. Okay. The Rossi file, original raw file, the DNG with no lossy compression, the DNG with lossy compression. Let me do that again. Maybe just in case somebody could see something, but they look identical to me. There's the Rossi file right there. There's the original raw file. There is the DNG file exported from Lightroom without any Rossi compression or any lossy compression. And there is the raw file exported from Lightroom with lossy compression. So that one was like 28 megabytes or so. And this one was like 23 megabytes or so. And you could see can't see any difference. So that's it. That's Rossi. Again, in the description below this video, I have a link to their website. You could check them out. Again, I don't have a discount card. I'm not affiliated with them anyway. Again, they're not paying me to do this video and I won't make any money if you actually purchase the app. I just thought it was something that might be useful for some of you. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>